welcome back to my channel woman in five i'm with the most energetic girl i know Lord, i'm so, so excited <laughs> i am so excited Hi. guys as you know like in our previous like videos we've been touching on entrepreneurship and I've, we've been postponing our it's been a long it's time. been a long time we've been yeah. postponing our interview but anyway finally we are here with her and everything is just perfect <laughs> hey <laughs> so baby girl um i think you should just tell us who you are mm -hmm. uh in the category of women in five mm -hmm. who are you basically in women in five um Okay, my name is Mabushoko Boshoko. Yes! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> it's Mabushoko Boshoko. Most people know me as Itumile Motobi, the boss lady. Ah. Lady, <laughs> oh, you know? Um, yeah. I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. I'm a wife. You're a wife. Girl. I am the baddest boss lady you can <laughs> ever come across <laughs> in the kingdom of Lesotho. <laughs> I am, like, without a doubt. Yeah. Um, mm. I'm not a student because yeah. woman in five entails being a student. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so basically, I'm that. Yes, and you're way a mom. more. Yeah, I'm and a sister. Yeah, I'm a friend. I'm a cousin. I'm, I'm a whole <laughs> lot of things. <laughs> okay, baby. Yes. So, uh, we're going to be talking about entrepreneurship. We're going to be mm -hmm. concentrating more on that, and all, obviously, maybe interacting, um, maybe your motherhood into mm -hmm. it. But just tell us. How you got into entrepreneurship? Like I think it was it was by default that I fell into entrepreneurship. Mm. But looking at it now, it has always been a calling of mine. Yeah. Because when I seriously got into entrepreneurship, mm. it was after I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I got fired, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I really. I, it, it was sometime around 2014, mm. 2015. Um, I was working for the municipality in town mm. and we were laid off just like that wow. and for the first time in my life i mm. think i got a feel of how being depressed mm. be felt like because i'm not used to sitting and doing nothing, nothing. Mm. and i was i was actually an entrepreneur before working for the municipality okay. and then after that i relaxed thought i was in the office mm. thought i was working towards like my degree yeah and all of a sudden I'm laid off work mm. and now I had to think, okay, who am I? What do I want with myself? Mm. Was I really enjoying the work, the work that I was doing? Mm. And the answer to that was no, I was yeah. not thriving. I, I didn't feel like I was growing in it. Mm. So I got back. I got back into the business. I started selling. Mm. Um, I think luckily I got a part-time project job. Mm. It was a six month mm. project job. So I, I got a chance to save after every month the money that I was getting from that. Oh, okay. And I was about to ask you, like, <laughs> where you got the capital? Because sometimes when someone wants to start selling, they're like, mm -hmm. oh my God, where am I going to get money? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yes. It's not so easy for someone who's from, like, school, mm -hmm. like, who just uh, maybe finished their varsity mm -hmm. and there's no work. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the reasons why we have this mm -hmm. uh, YouTube channel. So that people who are not getting any jobs mm -hmm. or whatever and they feel like, okay, let me just start this entrepreneurship thing, mm -hmm. then they should know where they should get the capital. With that, yeah. I really do understand we, we need support structures. Yeah. And if you don't have a support structure, either at home mm. or a partner, it, it becomes very difficult. Very but difficult. Um, right after uh, finishing Varsity, mm. it was me and two other friends of mine. Yeah. We started selling hot dogs. Oh, okay. in town yeah and i think we, we it was easier for us to come up with capital wow. because mm. we were working together yeah. it wasn't my, my sole responsibility yeah. so we came up with money bought the ingredients we started selling and we made a lot of money is it we made a lot of money because we took our pride and mm. put it aside, aside and we're like okay degrees aside we we have to live yeah. we have to make money <laughs> which is where i think most of us need to start if you want something yeah. You have to start somewhere. Yeah. So uh, you need to start with what you already have. With what you already yeah. have, with something mm. close by. Because for other people, I've always said, you know, I'm a painter, by the way. <laughs> I've painted wow, your lovely guys. house. <laughs> Just I'm a painter my house. house. <laughs> this wall behind me, I painted it. Wow. So I That's think with that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh -huh. I think I think with that is 
I could I could be able to paint for somebody without mm. me having literally nothing in my pocket. Mm. But I know once the job is done, mm. I have money. Yeah. So with the money that you paid me, <laughs> with I was able to kickstart certain businesses of mine. Yeah. So it's it's just about thinking and putting your pride aside and mm. not really giving a mind yeah. what anybody would say. Wow, I'm so inspired by the hot dogs, guys. I like, I made money. I'm sure Yo, you did. I made money. And the money. thing is, sometimes we think money is about selling, like when you have trucks or mm -hmm. when you have something of big mm -hmm. uh, machinery. Mm -hmm. We don't think like selling hot dogs or even airtime can air actually mm -hmm. make you a lot of money. Like in the long run, mm -hmm. uh, I think we look at short term benefits exactly. more than the long term benefits, mm -hmm. and it becomes a disaster for us. And it actually restricts us from doing what we want to to do or exactly. want to, what we want to become. So, um, in terms of what you really sell, hmm? what do you sell? Because sure. you, you remind <laughs> me of people who say that you sell everything. I sell everything. <laughs> I think that is the most difficult question. It's yeah. being asked, what do you do? I'm like, um, <laughs> what do I do? Yeah. Consider I do everything. Yeah. Guys, I do everything. She does do everything. Like, I sell everything legal under the sun. I'll keep saying that. Yeah. If it's legal, I'm going to sell so it. <laughs> if it's a car, I'm going to sell it. If it's a house, I will sell it. If mm. it brings me money, I, I will, will sell it. it. So <laughs> basically, I sell not literally everything because mm. some things I'm not really passionate about yeah. about selling but um, I sell beauty products yeah hey look at me now <laughs> look at me now, <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> I sell beauty products yeah I sell hair mm. I sell clothes I sell mm. shoes mm. I rent out tents yeah I sell insurance <laughs> I sell oh my god I sell fitness bells yeah um, you um, hire us ten. Exactly. But I do everything. <laughs> if your money is worth it, I take it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I take it. So that's what I do. Yeah, basically. and I think uh, one of the things that make what that have made you know mm -hmm. it's your skills in like how vibrant you are, mm -hmm. like how you market yourself. Mm -hmm. Like I think you should just tell us a bit how that has helped you and how can that help other entrepreneurs in terms of marketing their businesses mm -hmm. because sometimes you can say mm -hmm. but if I don't market them how do you cool. talk about hey, yeah. and, and I remember this girl um when she was like just be in people's faces. It's and true. Even with the flying fish um, event, like girl, it's just girl. in our faces, you guys. Know, it's and in our faces. I found <laughs> myself drinking flying <laughs> fish, and it, it wasn't even my stuff. Exactly. But yeah, I found myself voluntarily. So yeah. that's how marketing works. Exactly. So I, just tell us a bit about how how you go about it. With me, mm. I can't even call it marketing. I'm simply being myself. <laughs> yeah. I I, well, I, I promise you, I'm simply being. I could talk about my product, mm. and because I'm. A loud mouth, I'm in your face, I'm yeah. a people's person, yeah, you are. which I think that is the most important thing. Mm. You cannot interact with people, mm. sell to people, mm. and not be a people's person. Yeah. So I'm a people's person, I talk to anybody, yeah. anytime. Mm. So that has worked in, in my advantage because another thing, kind of always um, being a little different from people, mm. saying what people think in their minds but aren't bold enough to say it out, Yeah. I'm the girl. So like I will what? say something. <laughs> no, like uh, I'll raise a, a topic that people are talking about, about behind closed doors, yeah. and I'll just put it in the public. Uh, yeah. So and then you'll get your answers. Exactly, from, from I the get comments. answers from the comments. Mm. Then certain people will be mad, but they will want to know who is this girl. Yeah. Who does she think she is? <laughs> then boom, I post something that you need. Yeah. You know exactly. I post. So you you kind of have to be a little controversial sometimes, mm. to to keep being in people's lives and in mm. their faces mm -hmm. you have to interact with them mm. you should never think that you're too cool yeah. for anything yeah. if you want to have good working relations with people yeah and another thing the fact that you sell everything don't you find it difficult to like know what to sell because i sell everything mm -hmm. but sometimes i'm when i find something maybe from a like a certain supplier mm -hmm. maybe from china mm -hmm. and then they'll be showing me what what's available mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my god, but they wouldn't go for this, mm -hmm. you know. And then you find out that but then you need to buy it in bulk, mm -hmm. you know. Don't you have like such challenge? Such I do challenges have such challenges. Of, like, yeah, I do because mm. sometimes you find I 
I bring something, I introduce it to the market mm. and a couple of people want it. Mm. But being consistent in it mm. is not as easy because it's not yeah, everybody wants, mm. wants it. Another thing I think we make as a mistake as entrepreneurs is mm. we assume that people won't want something. Simply because I'm not interested in exactly. it. I assume that everybody wants <laughs> That's also my in problem. It. Exactly. <laughs> and now you realize I was wrong because I've had so many people buy things from me mm. that I never would have thought they would buy. Yeah. Because like, no, no way. <laughs> Nobody's going to buy this until like 10 people want it. And yeah. you're like, oh, my oh. eyes are open mm. to this. Mm. So yes. So it's not about you. It's not about me. Yeah. Um, I think... One of the reasons why we fall into that trap, we really do get into business without doing market research. Yes. I'm guilty of that. I'm also guilty. Um, I just go in there. <laughs> I just go in there. I just assume that mm. it's going to happen. And then, and later, I think for now, mm. yeah. and so it's okay to run it is it, working. It is working. Like, to expose yourself to random very true. Entrepreneurs are about, it's about taking <laughs> risks. Taking risks. And people who take risks, they're the ones who make a lot of money. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not even going to be modest about it. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the truth. Yeah, it, it is, is the truth. Mm. So do you see yourself getting employed again? Um, no. I don't see myself getting employed again. Mm. I don't see myself going back to school to pursue a master's degree mm. in urban and regional planning. Mm. Oh, so you did ab 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 I did, original. Yes, I'm I just did. asking you for the sake of my viewers mm -hmm. because I do know what you did in yes, school yeah. um, I studied uh, urban and regional planning in the National University of Lesotho mm. I was one of the favorite um, students yeah according to my lectures because <laughs> I was really bright yeah did you my hear that? no I was bright <laughs> they know I was bright but unfortunately my passion is not with school mm. My passion is with business. So if yeah. ever I go back to school, it will have everything to do with business. Yeah. It will have to do with me growing myself as yeah. an entrepreneur. Mm. I don't see myself being employed again. Um, if ever I work in anything, it has to be a project. Yeah. Something with a defined <laughs> time. Mm. Uh, if I know three months from now I'm not going to be doing this again, then yeah. I'll be a part of that. Not a permanent position in an office. Mm. I will not be productive. <laughs> Mm. And so I don't want to waste people's time. I think you, I like the fact that you've been employed before. Mm -hmm. So you're talking this based on, on experience. On experience. Yeah. I actually realized that I was working with a lady, mm. um, guy saying a very good friend of mine. Mm. She is amazing at her work. Mm. That's when I learned that office work is not meant for everybody. Yeah. She was amazing at mm. her work. Mm. And I was just there. <laughs> I was just there <laughs> doing my job because I had to do my yeah. job. I was good at it, but mm. it didn't fuel yeah. me. Mm. And she wasn't good in business. She's not good in business. That's mm. when I realized, oh, we're different. You are different. Some people are mm. meant for the office, and that is very good because they get job done. Yeah. And there's people like me who are good to hustle. Mm. And we need each other. Yeah, yes. that is true. Mm. So uh, have you had like any challenges in terms of entrepreneurship and have you overcome some of the challenges mm -hmm. and are there any that you're still struggling with uh, yeah I, I, I meet challenges every day mm. I meet challenges every day the biggest challenge that I come across is me mm. I am terrible with keeping time oh <laughs> lord <laughs> I'm a procrastinator yeah and I've been asking been, mm. yeah I, I'm a procrastinator and I okay I'm working towards that I'm yeah. reading books yeah. on how to overcome that I'm mm. At least you're mentally doing something stimulating about it myself mm. to overcome it yeah uh, the other challenges seasons are different man mm. in business seasons are different something mm. that thrived in 2017 no mm. longer thrives, thrives in 2019 so you need to be mm. on top of your game you need to roll with the yeah. punches yeah. Mm. there will always be issues of people who find it difficult to pay on time oh my god <laughs> that oh is my that. biggest challenge <laughs> so i think i have kind of overcome that mm. by not providing a service or product to somebody who does not provide me with a deposit first yeah well. because usually when somebody pays for something they find value in it mm. 
mm. instead of you giving up giving it out for free mm. and then expecting that they'll pay for it later wow that's so, literally an advice yeah. going directly yeah. to me guys because so, people have to if they want it that mm. back then they'll have to pay for it yeah yeah because you you go to the bank and you pay for services you don't get a service first and then pay after yeah so let's just let's be cool yeah and i think happy when when we do it that way can't you order and whatever like you give people perception of it no exactly. do you understand exactly. and so much that even when you sell like i was selling like hair clips mm -hmm. someone would be like i'll pay month and end and kind of when we keep up for tea again you understand cool. mm -hmm. i think that, that's the mentality we're giving mm -hmm. our customers it's we, true it's you blame it on yourself mm. for actually introducing uh the order first and then pay, pay later, up, pay later. Like but have you seen mm -hmm. any result as in when you introduce the 50 percent deposit mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. did people actually uh, like your market mm -hmm. was it still constant no absolutely was it not. absolutely not absolutely not because mm -hmm. not everybody i realized that not everybody bought from me with the intention to pay and the minute i said pay first before getting what mm. you want that's when my real people stood with me that's yeah. when my real clients Customers. stood mm. with me they didn't mind that i asked them to pay first because they came with the intention to pay mm. and the people who never had the intention to pay prior went to other people who were selling on credit so it really never bothered me yeah i i knew who i was left with yeah. and i know that i'll always have a clientele of uh, increasing number of people because mm -hmm. these people really do want the things that I sell to them. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. No, that's beautiful. <laughs> and we the learn these things yeah. going forward mm -hmm. because we make that mistake of thinking a thousand or rather a hundred people want mm -hmm. the shoes that I sell, so I'm gonna give them out on credit yeah. and they will pay later. They don't. Yeah. You're not going to pay three months later for the shoes that you are wearing now. I mean yeah. yeah they've torn out some yeah that's true mm. Mm. and i think another challenge that i think maybe should give us like a brief description of how mm -hmm. you have handled it it's of um what's this goods mm -hmm. that people have ordered mm -hmm. and then they just don't come to you on time i still have <laughs> you know i think the funniest thing uh, is for somebody to pay for something in full mm it's with you yeah they never come to pick it up you call them and they are never available yeah you wonder okay what is the problem mm. can i help you with something yeah. i have your stuff, stuff with me mm. but i just can't seem to come across yeah. with you to mm. give them to you but um there's sometimes situations where somebody orders something and then pays maybe like a 50 percent deposit on mm. it and it becomes difficult for them to pay the balance mm. in that situation I could wait it doesn't matter I could wait because they've already paid a certain amount for it or sell it to somebody then reorder it for this person again when they have money mm. otherwise you'll find yourself I think the most difficult thing for me has been the phone covers I sell yeah personalized phone mm. covers as well so you will be ordering a personalized phone cover for me yeah <laughs> it's your picture yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your picture or a picture of your baby <laughs> or, has your of your husband. or your husband and, and they're like what am i going to do with this mm. and half the time i don't even require a deposit for mm. the phone covers because mm. a person will say please uh get me um like an iphone 6 cover i yeah. promise when we meet next week i'm going to give you the money mm. When you're supposed to meet it's a problem yeah. and here i am stuck with people's pictures and i can't I, I cannot even sell them i still have them even now as far as uh as far back as 2017 when i started i still have people's phone covers people go mia i don't understand <laughs> like and hang out that with my it's people that you know yes like, that you even have very true some relationship with it's um, a few people who mm, you don't know who can do that it's, it's usually mm, our families our mm, friends or mm, people who are acquainted yeah to them. Like, ah, 
I don't mm. understand that. And it's so hard, hey? It is. It's so hard. And it creates a mm. certain hostility yeah. between me and somebody I know. Because yeah. I'm like, how do you get that wrong? <laughs> you know this is my work. You know this oh, is my life. I like some, for someone, like when I was selling mm -hmm. and I was working, mm -hmm. you, I know how I, I could fall back. Exactly. I had a backup plan. You mm -hmm. know, like, hey, do you understand? But it's a little bit of a No, mm -hmm. it's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a I know, but Ukila part like like your supplier. Girl, <laughs> girl, <laughs> do not hurt me. <laughs> wow, like it's amazing that you bring that up now <laughs> because I'm going through something. Is I it? can't harm Paul. Mm. I think there's a problem on her end. Yeah, and now it reflects bad on me. Yeah, it does. Like. Mm. My favorite, favorite supplier, mm. my lipstick supplier. Yeah. God, I hope everything works out, Connie. <laughs> I pray everything works out because these people are biting my head off. Mm. I have about, I think it's 42 people mm. who placed lipstick orders from me. Mm. And I cannot deliver because the lipsticks that they want are still in manufacture. Yeah. They, are, they, they are not here yet. Yeah. And when people want lipstick, they want it now. now. They want it for the weekend, for the exactly. graduations or weddings Wedding, or yeah. a date, you mm. know. And if you say to a person, I'm sorry, I cannot deliver just yet, they it, bite your yeah. head off. Just this weekend, I was at a friend's surprise welcome home. Mm. And one client of mine said, where do you get the audacity to, to, <laughs> to post other products and I don't have my lipstick wow. yet? And I realized this is serious. Mm. So I can't really say... Uh, Mm. Mm. But oh my god, I've been scammed quite a number of times. Really? I have. <laughs> <Yo, hey. laughs> I've been scammed. I've sent money to people and they never delivered. They blocked me after that. It was these shoes, they were really nice. Like everybody wanted those shoes. They were very affordable. And I don't know why it didn't cross my mind that this price seems too good to be true. I remember you were selling those yeah. shoes, but I was like, you know what? And now I thought you you had ordered them in China. Yeah. So um, the thing about China, yes, things are very cheap, mm -hmm. but what's expensive is it's shipping. Uh, I promise you. So I was like, but this price is still it was so, so ridiculous, yeah. and I don't know why it didn't cross my mind that like ah, this is a scam. No, it was meant to happen. Yeah. Well, I mean, if it. It, it didn't become a scam. Yeah, I, I mean, wouldn't have learned exactly. Yeah. Mm. But I've, I've I've grown from that. I'm very caught, uh, uh, cautious lately mm. because if I'm going to buy something from somebody I don't know, I mm. will make my research. Mm. I will dedicate a week <laughs> in going mm. through Google, mm. going through emails, yeah. going through Instagram, mm. going through every means to make like. For me to be, be sure that this mm. is legit, it's yeah. not a scam, it's, yeah. it's nothing like All right. that. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. So with, with the tents, mm -hmm. are you the one who actually goes there <laughs> and put them there? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm the baddest. I told you that. Yeah, you mm. are the boss lady. Uh, it's one of the easiest things to set up. Is it? it it's one of the easiest wow. things to set up. But wow. unfortunately, a lot of men <laughs> don't know how to do it. <laughs> how do you know that? Um, um, before, when I started, mm. I was given by Ausma Dile. Mm. Love her to bits. Is it? You should come across that lady. Yeah. No, she, she she's contributed <laughs> so much to she's the things still that the I do yeah. yeah. mm. uh, I was given contacts. Mm. And I was, I was standing there looking at him thinking, why am I paying this person to do this? Because I can do, <laughs> do it, it anyway. So I still need him now yeah. because there comes a time where I can only book yeah, yeah, I can yeah. to, to, to take myself there mm. physically, but it's it's easy. Mm. That's my favorite story. <laughs> it was a graduation ceremony. Mm. So yeah, I'm going to set up a tent. I get I'm like, okay, gentlemen, step aside. Yeah. Kids and mm. Two minutes, two minutes, the tent was up, and I felt, I felt powerful. Exactly. I felt in charge. Mm. 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 And did they say 
wow or did they like, hey, congratulate no, you no or? they wouldn't 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 they with me mm-hmm. uh like gotta like imagine in because everything like i'm doing everything on my on own. own while i could get someone eloga they can keep on uh ordering mm-hmm. taking orders from people mm-hmm. have like a specific whatsapp group mm-hmm. uh whatsapp number, number for uh, for my to order like how do you handle that i think it's such a huge administration it is mm. and it's stressful it's mm. tiring mm. it's everything you don't want to experience mm. however i have learned that if you want something done properly you should do it yourself, yourself. yeah i have worked with people before mm. and i wasn't happy with how they did things yeah and i'm not one to breathe on your neck about yeah. do this like this mm. do i'm not that kind of boss lady yeah. yet <laughs> but so i decided you know there's things that do require me to hire people mm. i'm venturing into another project that most definitely i'll need to mm. hire like five or more Ooh, people girl money hey. 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 <laughs> so yeah uh but currently the things that i'm doing i can manage mm. although i'm not managing yeah because it's, <laughs> it's a lot i mean being a mother being a wife being mm. a businesswoman mm. being a friend being yeah. a daughter being everything mm. you need to be present in yeah. in in everything but there's only 24 hours in a day and that's not a lot mm. sometimes yeah, but mm. i think with time i'll find a way to make my business work for me instead yeah. of for me working too much on it because what's that how work about to bank sometimes your clients mm-hmm. they want you if they were not where they were to go there that is so true. because they believe in you they Thank feel you. like if they give you uh, they give you mm-hmm. instructions you do it perfectly very true. perfectly well okay but with mm-hmm. my clients they 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 appreciate that one on one type of interaction cuz you hope alone we used to chat hard ke ke le ka kopana le na bo habe di bophelo but like we chat yeah and motemong e be wangwala on facebook haksapa na ona reng but it was about me not responding to their messages which i think una bua need kana ko it becomes overwhelming mm, mm. and the lady was no it can't be true i mean like au ko ka le gona and it's true i interact with my mm. clients i, I know what on you that mean. one yeah. on one uh set basic and basis ke bona go ke mthe ba ihloka go bana motho le ha tlogeka a simple lipstick ha sa ifuike na le tsogong ha go tsofala gore o kweka o go tsofala ha ke re ke nna mo fileng yona so ke bona go tsedi ntlheng tse di hloka go ile nna a dietsa wow that's such an inspiring story though okay um i think one last question i have a lot to you can ask pass away i i was to have the ground today was dedicated to you <laughs> so ask <away. laughs> you know with uh making videos sometimes you just don't want to bore people yeah because uh, i mean yeah you, you want you I mean. to get to the point exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i think it's about what message you have for people who are starting mm-hmm. who want to uh, be engaged in entrepreneurship mm-hmm. and yeah any message that you have for people who are having challenges because mm-hmm. not that kiri but twabang they are not doing well or whatever but mm-hmm. you see gana kongo motho tla ba ge ke sao oh okay i'm on herbal life mm-hmm. uh, let me sell kapa uh, there is this lemon tea and mm-hmm. but i have of money hi push and mm-hmm. we want to help our sisters out mm-hmm. there we want to help our brothers out there mm-hmm. and i think you have you've been well experienced in this um mm-hmm. in this uh what's this this field this industry of yeah of yeah entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship. Uh, so what message do you have for them uh, like you know is it about passion is about need or mm-hmm. ebel motto is an entrepreneur because studying it's about i need money mm-hmm. you know but of money you need money but you can't push that thing because you're not into too passionate about it mm-hmm. mm. is it about fully about passion god by keeping not fully money. it's it's a combination mm. of both yeah. because passion alone will not put food on the table exactly um <laughs> <laughs> i promise because, uh, but i think 
like what I've learned business is not for everyone hmm. business is not for everyone <laughs> yeah so yes the need for money makes all of us think we can go into business mm. and we're not all cut out for that yeah uh, but you need to find your fire mm. everybody has a fire yeah. inside you need to mix. find mm. your fire and when you find that fire then go with it mm. um your fire will most often annoy other people you yeah. need to be in mm. people's faces you need to be <laughs> mm. loud you need to be Heard. authentic mm. and different yeah i think I, i would have so many advices but when you're in business and you're starting don't be afraid to ask people mm. first and foremost mm. um stop treating everything and everybody like competition mm. yes we're in business together yeah. we are competing but we need to have a healthy competition yeah a healthy working relationship kiweza mm. tsamahlala if i sell something and you sell a similar thing mm. when we have a healthy uh, relationship, relationship it means when i run out of something mm. I can still say my clients should come and to that's you. exactly what you do at exactly. the bar. I, I, guys I'm <laughs> I'm telling the truth exactly one of my clients oh, oh, mm. even referring someone who mm. so I trust like mm -hmm. uh, yeah very so, true mm. so mm. so it's like it's like it's to constantly we beef over things we don't even need to mm. beef on mm. um I get that we lack originality. Woo! Rolling eyes. <laughs> <laughs> My point is, for that one okay, here I am doing some personal hair. O fuma na ke re ke isa. I'm not even fighting on that. Mm. But I I have a certain way of how I market in yeah. Tazak. Mm. How fihla? O sotlo fihla o kena la hona di etsa ka mono. E re maketse ka o fela gore ka po. Nthatu re ke setsa le qa. Ka po ho yetsa ha because you need to stand out mm. and be go over strive go fit le qa in what she does because if yeah. you constantly copy what somebody does mm. you lack originality and people will constantly refer wow. back to the point to okay o tlame a re di setsa mo theane so re ntse go tlhutlela ho ka pa ipo ka lan thutse dintsa go wa mo exactly e be ke bo di thutse mo nang tse be original yeah. be yourself be loud in your own kind of way mm. if you you don't necessarily have to be loud but be your own kind no, of person no i understand what you're saying yes. I, don't i'm sure a lot of you understand ask. yeah like i was telling you and i was my dile Mm. Had I not asked, mm. she took me from Lesotho to Johannesburg with her husband. We spent like two days there. Wow. And Kisa to certain places, teaching me things, and I appreciate her. And I'll always appreciate mm. her for that. This is why she's so blessed. This is why she's so blessed. Mm. This Be is why she's ha, so blessed. Ka, mm. ka information because you only some people want to talk. They want to talk. And I do say okay. Okay. Mm. helped so many people mm. into selling i've shown people where to go mm. i've advised people on yeah. what not to do ho bane ke ke ne ke hlokomela go nthana ka ga ha e sebetse so instead of taking that route take that route yeah. so mm ha sebetse yo na okay but hey i like your advice and i'm sure guys you've heard her story like she's so inspiring <laughs> <laughs> give me some one that's like we, we grew up together literally literally, literally. <laughs> <laughs> we grew up together in any cheese girl it's a mona no 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 i've never <laughs> been <laughs> Not <laughs> 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 you actually coming here and agreeing to actually talk because kana kongwe 
But why I'm the lack self esteem of mm-hmm. my life. I don't want people about to my story mm. because they will use it against me. Exactly. You know how the social media can be mean. Use all of that against <laughs> me. <laughs> it can no be. publicity is bad publicity. It, it can be used against a lot of mm-hmm. people and Hagena self esteem is one of them. So. I thank you a lot and good luck with your business. Thank you. No, 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 I thank you for the care. We are Joe Beck. Man, in the bag. We are like this. I got a guy. I fell off. I fell off. I'm not talking about going to Joe Beck. I'm going to go to the telephone. Exactly. But yeah, guys, as you heard, it's challenges of business, especially home. We're talking from perspective here. Yeah. Yeah, hi. Mm, I think more than so anything, true. I think th- that's where you built your clientele. Yes, yeah. that is fair. Yeah, that's but where the money is at. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the video and tell your friends to subscribe. Please, 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 and your families. Oh yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs>